The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator, and today we're going to talk about why you are so special. We're going to be talking about DNA. I'm Aunt Francine, and I'm so glad Professor Roy is here with us. Good to be with you, thank you. Let me introduce you to Carter. Hi, Carter. Angel. Hi, Angel, nice to have you here. Is our? Hi. And Macy. Got a good group, huh? We do, I think we're excited. Do you know what DNA is? DNA. Yeah, hmm. Kinda, sorta. I don't have a good ex explanation. Sounds like an abbreviation. It does sound like abbreviation. Yeah. Must be a big word. It's a big word, okay? That big word is deoxyribonucleic acid. That's wild, isn't it? You know, you got that in your body? You know where? Where would you have it in your body, you think? Um, I don't know. It's got it in every one of your cells. You got a lot of cells in your body? Oh, we got a lot of cells in our body, that's right. In fact, you know, you've got so much DNA in your body. Every one of your little tiny cells, and they're microscopic, some of those cells, has about six feet of DNA. It's a string of DNA. And that DNA is information. DNA is what makes you, you, and what makes you, you, and what makes this banana a banana. Isn't that cool? In fact, all fruits have DNA. Isn't that amazing? I guess that, they're made up of a lot of cells, aren't they? Well, absolutely, there are a lot of cells. In fact, sometimes what we do is we have a microscope and we can take a microscope and we can look at cells, can't we? Mm. Yeah, well, we're gonna do an experiment today. We don't need a microscope for, and we're going to try to get some DNA out of some fruit. You have some strawberries in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you think there's DNA in strawberries? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there really is. We're going to find out. And you ask, you have a, a bag, a, a Ziploc bag, right? You might want to put your safety glasses on because you don't want to get squirty strawberry in your eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to have you pop your strawberries in your bag. All right, just like that. Okay, and then you're going to Ziploc it shut. All right. Now, before you Ziploc it shut, what we might want to do is you might want to try to squeeze the air out of the bag so you don't have, a, you, we don't want a, a, a pillow of air, okay? Not a good idea. Okay, then we're going to squeeze it shut like this, and then we're going to do what you can't do at home while you're eating, and that is mash your food on your plate. So just take your fingers or maybe your thumbs and just mash the strawberries. Just push down, push down on the table and just mash them, okay? Now, do you have uh, do you have some leaves on your strawberries? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to leave those leaves on the strawberries. You know, the leaves have uh, do they leaves have uh, DNA? Yeah, yeah, leaves have DNA. You might have to push down really, really hard. We want to squeeze all of those, and we're, so we're going to get some strawberry juice, right? <laughs> And we're not going to drink the strawberry juice, but we're going to squeeze them. How are yours? Oh, keep going. I see a oh, big old blump right there. Oh. We don't want any blobs. We want it nice and squeezy. Okay, you got it? How are we doing? I'm going to come over and examine what you're doing. Okay, oh, hey, that's looking good. Yeah, keep going. Want to squeeze them, squeeze them. How are we doing over here? That's looking good too. That's right. It takes a lot of pressure to squeeze those, right? What we want to do is we want to mash them. We want to mash them. We want to get some strawberry juice in there. Now, we're going to need some other things as well. I need to work mine as well. Okay, I'm talking too much. I'm not working hard. I can help. I can help. I can help. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's get it down. Now, we have some cups on your table too. So let's look at your cups. You got one cup that has some salt in it, okay? You have another cup that has some water in it. What I'd like to have you do is I'd like to have you pour the salt into your water. Can you do that? Just pour it into your water, just like that. Very good. Now we're gonna need something else. Now all that DNA is locked up in the cells of your fruit, of the strawberry. We need to break the cell wall. The cell wall is really strong. We wanna break the cell wall. That's what the salt is for. 
and the water. And we're also going to have to put some soap in there. So we've got some soap on your table. You've got a little measuring spoon right here and you're gonna fill that measuring spoon up four times, I believe, in order to get enough. So go ahead and fill it up and then you're gonna put it right inside of your cup of water now. Can you do that? Yeah. Fill that little measuring cup up, that little spoon and uh, fill it up four times, dump it in there, and then we're gonna have to pass it around, okay? How are you uh, doing with yours? I'm yours looks pretty smashing. good. Well, look at that, mine looks pretty good too. I can still work on it, oh. okay? You know, I've got some other fruit in here too. I've got some, uh, what is that? A cucumber. What is that? Zucchini. It's, it's zucchini and it has DNA, doesn't it? We have blueberries, we have apple, we have orange. Okay, are we doing good? Everybody got the? the soap in there? Yeah, not yet. Okay, now once you've gotten your soap in your cup of water, then we're gonna take and open your bag, okay? We're gonna open your bag, and then you're gonna put that liquid right inside. Now we need soap too, so when they're finished, why don't you get soap for us? Yep. And you can put soap in our two cups as well. Okay, are you done, Carter? Yeah. Okay, now go ahead and pour that liquid right inside of your bag. No, 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 I'm sorry. Pour, pour the this. liquid in the bag. Okay, pour it in the bag, all in, just dump it all in. All right, there you go, okay? And then try to take the air out of the bag, and then we're going to mix it, okay? We wanna mix it up, okay? Hey, thanks for helping me do mine. All right, are we good? Yeah. Okay, try to take as much air out as you can, all right? And you have all yours in there? Okay, and we, want, we don't wanna get a lot of soap bubbles in there, so we're just gonna, we're going to uh, just mush it around, Okay, I need to open my bag up. And all of that mixture is going to break, break the cell wall, okay? Because the DNA is right inside of the cell wall. I'm gonna pour mine in there as well. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to try to get some more air out of my bag. I don't wanna spill it though. Am I the only one being messy? Isn't that fun? You feel all that stuff underneath your fingers? Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? Now, as you do that, so you're just kind of like kneading the bag, okay? And what's happening is, what's happening to the cell wall? It's breaking. We're breaking the cell wall, okay? And that allows the DNA to come right out of the inside of the cell. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, one gram of DNA, you know how much information it holds? How much? About 700 uh, terabytes. You know, a terabyte is a lot of information, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Okay, you got yours all mixed up pretty well? Oh, I hope so. What we need to do now is we've got to filter all the gunk out. There's a lot of gunk in here. There's a little bit of DNA, but there's a lot of gunk. So we're gonna filter it out. And this is how we're gonna filter it out. What I'm gonna do is I, I have some gauze right here. We're gonna use the gauze as a filter. And so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this around here like that. And then we're going to have you dump your bag, okay, of mixture into this gauze right here. We say, so come up here one by one and dump it in there. The gauze is like a filter, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and go ahead and dump it in there. And uh, Auntie Francine, if you could yeah. kind of help us to do that and get that I in here, like okay? And the gauze is like a filter and the liquid should go through and all the gunk is gonna stay on top of the gauze, right? Yeah. Okay, because we don't want the gunk in there, but we want all of the liquid. Hey, he's got a lot of liquid in there. Okay, all right, we got, we got the next person Can coming up. Okay, dump yours in there. Hey, can you see the liquid? The liquid is dropping in there. Very good. Okay, go ahead and dump yours in there. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> there we go. All right, open it up and put it right in there. Oh, this is good. All right, all right, and the next one. Oh, look at all that. <laughs> you know, we could have strawberry shortcake, couldn't we? Yeah, that'd be delicious. Yeah, but I don't I'm know. I'm not we sure what's, of, what's in there. Though, got a lot so. of salt. Okay, go ahead and put yours in there, Carter. All right. Yeah, we got salt in there. And we <laughs> I don't got know. soap. That wouldn't be good to eat, would it? Okay, we're getting a lot of liquid right there. Inside of the liquid, you know, you can't see the DNA now, but we're going to add one thing to that liquid. We're going to add some, uh, I think it's called alcohol and the alcohol is going to help us. Okay, are you ready, Angel? Okay, go ahead and put yours in there too. You know, I'm not going to put mine in there because I think we're I think overflowing, we, yeah, I think okay? So. All right, so thank you for putting yours in there. Go ahead. All right, in fact, you know what? We might we... want to stop right I there. So I don't too. know. 
Well, then we could add a little more. All right, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, all right, there good. we go. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Now, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have uh, Aunt Francine to do the messy part, and so okay. we're, gonna, we're gonna try to get that, get that off right okay. here without making too much of a mess, okay? I'm gonna use that paper towel right now. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, we can just put it all on here. What am, what am I gonna add, the last thing? Alcohol. The alcohol, okay. What we wanna do is we wanna add about the same amount of alcohol, okay, to that beaker of our strawberry juice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the beaker a little bit so we don't um, have a lot of currents of liquids, okay? We don't want a lot of current of liquid going through there. So let's go ahead and pour that in here. Let's see what we got. I'm just trying to be really, really careful. I'm squeezing the bottle right here. I'm squeezing it. We're trying to get a lot of that alcohol out. Now you can use any alcohol that you could get, you know, like in the in the grocery store or the pharmacy. And most alcohol, you know, will work for us. All right. So I think we're going to need a little more. I'm going to take the lid off so we can pour even. It, it could pour a little faster. Okay. So that'll help us. All right. So we're going to pour this About in here. Pour that in there. Pour that in there. Pour that in there. Let's see. Let's see how much we got in there. Let's see what we got. Okay, just a little more. It almost looks about what we need right here. Now, we also have some popsicle sticks, okay? And let's see what we can find out. What we want to do is we want to try to get some of that DNA. Right now, that DNA is floating up, okay, on, on the top of the alcohol. And we might be able to pick it up with uh, a popsicle stick. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. All Empty, right. why don't you see if we can uh, do that. See if you can get some of that up, okay? Okay. Did oh. I go too far? What's that? No, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, all right. We're getting a little bit in there. We may, that may have to may have to settle for just a little bit longer, okay? And what we're gonna end up, if I look right, Stu, there, can you see some little oh, fibers yeah. floating? So we hey, can guys. see, yeah, come over here so you can see, guys, right here. Can you see some fibers floating? Yeah. Yeah, they're floating and the uh, alcohol is very, very clear. And every one of those little fibers that's floating, that is our DNA. That's our DNA molecules right there. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And if we let that set for quite a bit of time, it comes to the surface and we can scrape it out. But we need a little more time, okay, for that to happen. But uh, in fact, we can, I can see it and uh, I don't want to stir it around because then it's going to do what? It's going to, uh, it's, it up. <laughs> it's going to mix. We don't want it to mix. We want it to separate, but we need just a little more time for that to happen. That's interesting, isn't that it? That is very interesting, and I'm so glad that God made us very special. Carter, would you grab the Bible for me? Sure. Let's read Psalms 139, verse 4. Now, you might know that verse very well. And I think it talks about how our DNA is very unique. Do you know that no person is the same? And it says that uh, everybody in the planet Earth is 99.9 .9 the same. It's only that 0.01% that makes all the difference. And you know what? God wants you to be in heaven. Let's read that. Okay, Psalm 130, 139 verse 14 reads, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Your soul knows very well. God made you very special, didn't he? Yeah. Doesn't he want you to be in heaven? Because Absolutely. heaven would not be the same without you. So will you live for him today? Yes. Yeah. He made you just for that. Thanks for joining us on Creation is Science! Science.